Okay, we are on day five already. This is flying by. So how are we feeling? Strong in our core, sore probably. That's totally expected. If you keep this up, of course, you know, by next week, you will not be so sore. So first move, we're going to be on our back. Your legs are spread out in a V. Now some of you, um, if you have back problems, you're not gonna be able to come all the way up, but you can at least come up a little bit. So all we're doing is laying flat down, hands up, come up, and then slowly go back down. Breathe out, slowly come back down. Okay, to modify that, you can bend your knees and just come up as far as you can and go back down. Come up as far as you can, back down. Okay, we're doing one minute, one minute of those V-ups. So, next move, we're going to get into the plank position and all you're going to do is hold it. If you've never done a plank before, these are di very difficult. You can start on your knees. This is a whole body workout. But I want you to try to hold it for a minute or just try to hold it as long as you can. You should, you should start to shake within 10 seconds, but you want to push your body to hold it as long as you can. So you're on your elbows, feet back. You're in a straight line. You're not up in the air, but just straight. Have some music going or something to keep your mind occupied and you just hold. Your eyes should be five inches in front of your fingertips looking out so your body is in a straight line. If you can see me, I'm shaking. Okay? To modify it, just get down on your knees. You still need to be in a flat, straight line with your back, but you're just on your knees. Okay, just hold it as long as you can. That is move number two. Okay, so back, we're on our bottom. We're kind of making a C with our body. Your knees are up. You're going to hold your hands together. Just twist to the side, try to touch your elbow down, page. Page, please stop. And elbow down. Twist, twist. Keep your body in a C. Twist, twist. Okay. Now, just to modify that, you'll just come up more. You won't lean so far back. You can still twist and fill it in your midsection. Okay. Still twist. One minute of the twists, okay? All right, we are gonna go back. Laying on our back. We are gonna do the bicycle. Again, fingertips at your ears, opposite elbow to opposite knee, okay? Obviously the lower you can put your feet to the ground the more you're working your abs. This is great to get those nice cuts on the side. The more you can do, the better. So we've got one minute. If you need to modify that, you're just going to tap. Put your legs up. Tap. 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 Okay. Next move. We're going to do the boat. So you're going to start again in a C curve. You're going to try to keep your legs and hands up. Come up and down. Up without. If you have to put your feet down, that's totally okay. That's part of it until we can get good balance. Up, just take your time. This is a slow movement. 
takes concentration, takes balance, and that might start to hurt your back. So in that case, put your hands behind you and try to just move up and back. Even that is a super good workout. Okay, five moves, five minutes. Repeat it so we've got 10 minutes. Stretch it out, get on your tummy. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Feels great. You can also lean back in child's pose. Put your knees apart, stretch out. a great stretch for your back. Okay, have a great day.